Spinners provide a quick way to select one value from a set. In the default state, a spinner shows its currently selected value. Touching the spinner displays a drop-down menu with all the av other available values from which the user can select a new one. If you want to learn Android app development and start publishing your own apps, as thousands of people did, join our Udemy bestseller and higher rated course with a free coupon in the description below. In order to add a spinner, we go to here to the Polite and we go to the containers because it's a container and we have a spinner here. We can drop a drag and drop it here and infer the constraints. If we go to the XML, we see that it is added by a tag called spinner. Or you can just write a spinner here and you can add it directly. Okay? The same way. This is the code of its XML. Okay? So this is the spinner. It have been inferred for the constraint. And these are the these are the most important uh, attributes, the ID, the width, and the height. To populate a spinner with a list of choices, then you need to specify a spinner adapter your active in your activity or fragment source code. Then, you see guys that these attributes or these widgets are being and uh, being more and more complex. So here we have an adapter. We need to create and populate adapter in the spinner. So as we introduce, we uh, go advance in our learning process, things should be more and more complex, but don't worry. We are here to clarify everything and make it a piece of cake. Now, how to populate the spinner with user choices. The choices that you provide for a spinner, this per spinner, when the user click on it, we need to populate choices, a drop down menu for in order to allow the user to select one of them. So you must, or the choices you provide for a spinner that can come from any source, but you must provide through a spinner adapter such as an array adapter if the choices are available in your array or a cursor adapter if the choices are available from a database query. For instance, if the availab available choices for a spinner are predetermined, they are included in your app, like in the resources folder that we have seen in the previous videos, and we go to the string, strings.xml, and we have learned about this in the resources uh, video. So please go back to the resources videos and select the string and know about the strings if you uh, missed it or if you forget. So we told you that there are three types of the strings that you can make, the string, the array of string, and the plurals. So we are going, we are interested in making now the string array. And in the video of the strings in the resources section, I told you that we are going to see the string array in later in the projects and the advanced widgets. And here we came, we came into an advanced widget, which is a spinner that it is uh, um, depending on an array of the string. We start by making like planet array here. And in this planet array, I will put item, start by making the item. Here we, uh, here we create the array of the uh, strings. We start Mercury. We copy it. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, and 
Saturn. I can add more other to other Uranus and Neptune. This is just the data that I need to display into a spinner. As I told you, these are a predefined or predetermined uh, choices. So we can add them by, by an array adapter. If you have a query of a database and you need to display a variable data that they are not determined in your app, later on we will see in the advanced project that we will use the cursor adapter instead of the array adapter. Okay, so stay tuned for with us with the next videos in the complex project that we are going to fetch the data from a database and add it to the spinner using the cursor adapter. So with the array, let me open it. We have named as planet underscore array. Now, how to fetch these data and, uh, and put them into the spinner? With an array such as this one, you can use the following code in the main activity in, or, or the fragment to supply the spinner with the array using an instance of array adapter. So uh, we are going to display this into the spinner using these codes in order to uh, tell the spinner, hey spinner, I need you, you from you to display my planet's array. Okay? So the spinner here equal find a view by id r dot id dot spinner and I will create an array adapter using the string array and a default spinner layout. So array adapter car sequence as its generic adapter equal to array adapter dot create from resource this is the context and what are the other uh, other arguments the text array resource id and the text view resource id and here we we specify the r dot array dot planet array here we have told that I need to fetch inside this array adapter the planet array. And here we specify android.r. This is the, the shape of a simple spinner item. Till now, we don't need a custom one. So I will use a predefined simple, lay, uh, spin, simple spinner, spinner layout item. Okay. Later on, when we, uh, we start working with advanced views, so we are going to customize in the layout and we customize the data. So we make a customized adapter for a customized spinner. So I, I know it may be confused, uh, but you are preparing yourself to be a professional coder that, mm, that creates his own apps, his own views, his own complex UI, his own complex applications. So we start by defining and specifying the layout to use when the list of choices appear. So adapter.set drop down view resource. What are the drop down resources? Android.r.layout. We are using the simple spinner. Simple simple spinner drop down it and apply the adapter to the spinner by using the spinner dot set adapter to adapter okay this is how we set and fetch the data from the string array and we tell the spinner by creating uh, by initializing it and telling that hey spinner i need to display the planet array that i have designed with the layout, which is a simple layout from your package. Okay, this is how we use it. 
Now, in order to respond to user selection, when the user selects an item from the drop-down menu, the spinner object retrie receives an on item selected event. Now let's run before adding and responding the item and let's talk about the spinner directly. Here we have created the spinner correctly. Okay, so we have created the spinner. If I click on the spinner, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, and if I select the Mars, Mars or Uranus or Neptune, so Neptune will be displayed here. But nothing happens because there is no handling for the click event. To define the selection event handler for a spinner, we need to implement the adapter view that on item selected listener interface and the corresponding on item selected method callback method. So how to do that? We need to implement here the interface implements on item selected listener and alt plus enter to implement the method. We click OK and we have implemented two methods. If you need to learn about the interfaces and how to implement it, please go to the OOP section in the Java section. Java OOP, Object Oriented Programming section, and learn about the interfaces deeply and uh, come uh, back here again in order to understand it very well. So, here an item was selected. You can retrieve the selected item using the parent.get item at position and this position that have been selected. So, I will show you by a toast, by displaying a toast. I prefer using the toast, even if I'm uh, I'm developing a real app, I prefer using the toast to test my code or the log cat. But I prefer the toast because it's very, very good to be displaying, it's fast. Now, what to select? You select, you select, and how to get the select as I do, uh, as I told you, it's very simple by checking parent dot get item at position position. Okay. This is on nothing selected. This is an another interface callback. Um, I don't prefer to implement any anything here and add anything, but it's a mandatory uh, mandatory method that I should implement it because I have implemented the on adapter click listen okay now let's run our app and see if there is any error if we see here if we click on Earth. Oops. Let's run again. Earth. Uranus. I have missed to add the set on item click listen to tell the spinner, hey spinner, use set on item click listener this listener that I have implemented. Okay? So, let's run and see again. You see guys that I have implemented the on item selected listener and I am trying to add the set on item click listener. Sorry for that, set on item selected selected listener and I will try to add this. So you see guys that this item click listener, I was confused with the item and the click listener. Sorry for that. Let's run and see our application. Here we select, for example, the earth and you select earth. If I select Jupiter, it will be displaying the selected. Thing. So 
here how we create a spinner how to public uh, publish the the pl the planet array that uh, it is defined in the string and how to uh, add its data to the spinner and display them and here how we have implemented our item selected uh, listener and how to add a function handling the selection listeners and the selection uh, events for our spinner